In this video, we're going to talk about traits of winning traders versus losing traders. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so some of the traits that I've observed of winning traders and losing traders, the comparison between the two. We've done videos before where we've seen the traits of winners and some traits of losers, but this one is actively comparing the difference in, I guess, the way that they see trading of winner versus loser, the way they respond to things, the way they react, the way they approach it, the way they frame it in their mind. Let's go. Number one. Winners take responsibility for their trading. If they're doing well, they believe that they're doing well and taking responsibility. More importantly, if they're doing poorly, they have a losing trade, they say, okay, I just made the wrong decision or I made the right decision and this time it didn't work out for me. It's part of the process. However, losers will blame others. They'll become the victim. They'll say, hey, I got stop hunted by the market. Oh, news came out and people were in the market's wrong. It should be going down, it's going up. Oh, you know, my broker wouldn't do this. There's always a reason why they lost money as opposed to looking at it objectively and saying, hey, you know what? It was a good trade. I lost money. Or you know what? I didn't really pull the trigger right on that. I need to refine this. I need to do that. Responsibility for their own actions. That's a big one. A lot of people are always blaming other people uh, for their losing trades. Number two, they, the winners do more study, less trade. Losers do more trade, less study. What do I mean by that? Let me explain. Winners are studying the next strategy. How can they improve their current trading? Where are their losers coming from? Where are the winners coming from? What market conditions? What do they need to do more of, less of? This kind of stuff, no, they know that that's what's gonna help them improve their bottom line dramatically. Losers are just trading. They're not doing any studying. They're just sitting in front of the computer I'm going to long this, I'm going to short this, I'm going to long that. They spend all that time just actively trading or watching their trades or rather than studying the information they need to make better trades or less frequent worse trades, that makes sense. You get the point, working on their craft as opposed to actually physically pressing that button. Again, that's a big one. Okay, number three, enjoying the process, dream of the big win. What do I mean by that? Winners know that it's going to take time. They know that the returns are going to be good, bad, and there's going to be a kind of medium between the two. And they're just enjoying the process, the learning, improving, getting better as a trader, all the experience they're gaining, it's all helping them. As opposed to the loser who often has the mentality of, oh, if I'm, I'm going to make really big money on this trade. Oh, you know, that's, this, this is going to be a really monster trade for me, this. I'm going to go in big size on it. It's going to make me a lot of money. And have a really kind of different attitude to trading to the winners. They're looking for that big win, they're dreaming of it. They don't really have a, there's nothing wrong with kind of looking for the big wins and for, you know, the lofty goals. But what's your path? What's your process to get there? The winners will enjoy the process. And more importantly, they will have a process. They'll say, okay, this is my account size, this is what I'm going to do, so I'm going to trade. Is it in line with what I expect? Yes, it is, etc., 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 building up to the point they want to get to, as opposed to the loser guy who says, it's just a big win, it's the big win. That's the one that's gonna get me there. Number four, realistic returns versus unrealistic returns. I mean, I don't mean actual returns that they're getting, but I mean that what they're expecting. They're expecting realistic returns versus losers who expect unrealistic returns. You know, a lot of losing traders will be trading a small account and expect to turn it into a massive account. And, you know, you say, well, even if you're great at trading the world, the risk of ruin is really, really high for the size you're trading. So, you know, have that expectation there. Or you're trading such a small size, the chance of you scaling that to a significant amount is is slim because you're going to have some drawdown here. It's just a realistic way of, of framing what they're going to do. Whereas, you know, good traders recognize maybe their capital is handicapping them a little bit. Maybe they're this and that, and they know they've got to make the decision. Do I amplify the risk, uh, amplify the potential reward, but then I've got a risk of ruin? That's just pure maths. Whereas a lot of losing traders will amplify that risk with an with expectation of getting that reward, and they get surprised when they kind of lose 70% of their account over a, a week period. And you think, well, if you just looked and you're using a quite a large position size, all you've done is had five losing trades in a row, which happens to everyone at some point, and you've wiped out nearly. So, you know, it's that realism of what you can do with your money. Uh, and number five, 
Winning traders definitely have a laser focus. They've got their strategy, they've got their market, whatever it may be. They are brought in the boundaries right in and they are focused on the one thing that they think they're good at. And they are not going to deviate and start meddling in other stuff. If they're trading one currency pair, that's that. If they're trading one stock, that's that. If they're trading one style, that's that. You don't see them darting around from one to the other. If they do, they even openly admit, hey, you're not very good at it and I'm losing money there. Whereas you know, the loser's approach tends to be very shotgun. I'm trading currencies, I'm trading gold, I'm trading this, I'm trading that, I'm trading mean reversion, trend trading, gap trading, this trading, that trading, and they don't have a laser focus. It means they can't get good at one thing. That's very common as well, guys. Number six, uh, winning traders have a real business-like approach to trading. So they've got good records, they've got a good plan, they've got a good strategy, they've got um, ideas for risk management, ideas for strategy creation, ideas for scanning, ideas for reporting, ideas for taking a break, ideas for when they're going to uh, do their study, ideas for when they're actually going to trade, all planned out, all prepared. It, whereas the losing traders, generally, it's a hobby, it's a recreational thing. They come in, they start the computer, I'm going to trade, I'm going to go do some trading. And they go in and they look for a trade and they take a trade. You know, that that's the distinct difference between the two. And do you know what? If you can align yourself with this more than this, then you're going to have a much better chance of getting to where you want to be as a trader. You know, if you find yourself doing all these kind of things, the chance of you being a success in, in this business is pretty slim, unfortunately, just from seeing the people that I've seen and just knowing how, um, you know, people behave. But if you can kind of take more down this route, I mean, if you've got some of these already, try and get rid of a few and, and come into this column. It's not going to be an instant fix. You know, you can't say you must do this immediately. I get it. You know, life is life. But if we can align ourselves more with this winning approach to trading and how the big guys who are doing it, the guys who are consistently making money, the guys who are still here multiple years down the line, then that will serve us better in the long term. All right, guys, thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already for more videos from me and other traders on this channel. Take care. See you in the next one. Goodbye.